probably only with a minute left, I looked at Kate and I just started smirking really hard. Um, you know, I knew, I've watched plenty of basketball that know 19 points in March Madness is not enough to let up. Um, and I thought, you know, they never gave up. And that's all you can ask of a team like that. They were never going to, they kept pressing, but I thought we were, you know, handling the press, went to the free throw line, made some big free throws. Um, but, I mean, I think it's still, like I said, I don't think it's still set in for me. <laughs> what does it mean to back up what you said, Take you're going to take this team to the final four? Have you thought about that? It looked like your tweet, you kind of yeah. referenced that a little bit. I think just like the biggest thing is, you know, my parents always let me dream um, and be, you know, who I wanted to be. And, you know, when I committed to Coach Bluter, a lot of people didn't think this would ever be possible. Um, and I think, you know, it shows, you know, young people, old people, all you have to do is have a dream, but you also have to work really, really hard for it. And there's going to be a lot of ups and downs, you know. We probably had one of the worst losses in NCAA women's basketball history last year, but, you know, that doesn't mean you can't respond in a really good way, and that's all we did. We were lucky enough to have our starting five back, and, um, you know, Coach Jay always said, what's delayed is never denied, um, and now we're in the Final Four. Did you know you were going to be on tonight? When did you know? To be honest, yes, I did. I had this feeling. I just, I wasn't really an ounce nervous at all. Like, I went up to Catherine, our, you know, player development coach before the game, and I'm just like, it, this just feels like Ohio State in the Big Ten Championship type of vibe, um, and that's exactly what it felt like. Um, I even thought we missed some really good looks, too, to make it even more stretched out, and I, I'm proud of the way Gabby responded in the second half. You know, to have three threes literally go in and out and off the backboard, it's really tough. Um, so I'm proud of her, but you know I, I knew it was going to be a good night for us. You got a, uh, a special guest at practice yesterday? Or was it today, this morning? What yeah. Was that Sue Bird came? Yeah. And, uh, there's that video and everyone's freaking out. <laughs> yeah. I actually had heard about the surprise a little okay. bit before, and Sue reached out to me um, before this started, and just you know she told me she couldn't come to our first game, so she said she, we better win so she could come and see us in person. But um, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, um, somebody that's really helped grow the game, and you know somebody I idolize growing up and still do idolize. I think she's not only a tremendous basketball player, but a tremendous person. And um, to get to talk to her for a little bit was pretty incredible and just inspire you know, all the girls on our team. So a special moment, and I'm really thankful to have somebody of like, you know, that high of caliber come into your practice and take the time and, um, you know, I don't know, just share some words of wisdom is, is pretty special. Getting Lisa to the Final Four, what does that mean? You know, Coach Bluter deserves it. Um, she's one of the best coaches of all time. And I don't think she always gets the credit she deserves, but um, she's a Hall of Fame coach. Um, there's no doubt about that. Um, and she you know, just works her butt off. Um, like, I mean, there's been ups and downs. You know, she's coached me. There's been, you know, moments she's yelled at me. Um, we've shed tears. You know, she loves me like no other. Um, and just to be able to do it for her, and, you know, I would talk, do everything that we talked about and dreamed of when she recruited me is pretty special. So, um, you know, I just love our coaching staff to death. They've been at it for quite some time in the most respectful way possible. Um, but they deserve it, and I love them, and I hope they enjoy this as much as we do. Have you thought about playing in Dallas next week yet? Uh, yeah, it's going to be really fun. I'm going to enjoy every single second of next week. I think that's a Like, just... <laughs> You know, just like every other day, I think. Um, you know, I slept pretty good last night, but I woke up and I'm like, I'm planning to go to the Final Four today. I think that's pretty incredible and not an opportunity a lot of people get. So um, went through our normal routine, and I think, you know, everybody was planning to go to Dallas. It was like, who's going to do our laundry when we get to Dallas? Who's going to this and that? I told my mom, like, I need you to go buy me some more clothes because, like, I have stuff to go to in Dallas. So she went shopping for me this morning. Uh, but that was the only option for us. It was just a confidence and a belief of one another. Um, but yeah, I think just treating it like any other game. And to be honest, I feel like this was probably the most calm I've ever been before a basketball game in my life. I just think I just had a you know confidence in this team, confidence in myself, um, and I knew it was going to go really well for us. How do you get there? How do you get there to where the biggest basketball game of your life, you're the calmest before? I think I understand that I'm so much more than basketball, uh, and that hasn't always been the easiest thing for me to understand. I think it takes a lot of work. Um, you know, I work with people about my mental toughness all the time and, you know, what's going, off, I'm on, going on up in my head because I think, you know, I have the skill and talent to do a lot of incredible things on the court, but it's right here in your head that's going to, you know, do a lot of things, you know, for your team, um, for you individually. Um, when things don't go your way, how are you going to respond? Um, and I think that's honestly been the difference for me this year. You know, I've put up the same stats. I've done all the same stuff. It's just right here that has changed. So, um, you know, I think that's the biggest growth I had to take for this team to get where we are right now. What's your prevailing emotion? 
Oh, I don't even know. It's just like I'm exhausted, but um, I couldn't be happier. Um, I Like I said, I don't think this is really going to sink in for a while, um, but I'm just going to try to enjoy every single second of it because um, this is incredible. Um, it's what I've dreamed of. Um, it's so hard to get to this point. Um, and I'm just grateful that I get to do it with this group because not only are they my teammates, but they're my best friends. So um, it's what makes this so fun. So you never, did you ever let it creep in your mind? Like, what if we don't make the most of this opportunity? Or did you, you were just... Honestly, I was just dialed in. Um, I don't think that was ever an option for me. Um, it was we were going to do this. I mean, we have every piece. It just felt like our destiny has really aligned in this tournament I've always told you you know you need things to kind of work in your favor you need some upsets you need you know a little luck you need shots to fall you need calls to go your way and it feels like we've got a lot of that this tournament but by no means does that take any away from anything away from us or our, the opponents we've played I thought everybody has played us tremendous and we've responded in a lot of great ways and you know we've just played it with the confidence about ourselves that's really incredible